Hello boys and girls, today we are going to be drawing the backgrounds to our Among Us self-portraits. You want to do your overall outline and then you want to add some customizations such as your hat, your costume, and your pet. After you have done all of that, you are ready to start drawing the background. For the background, you want to draw a place that makes you feel happy. So it could be your bedroom, the pool, the beach. Really any place that makes you feel happy, relaxed, place you like to go in your free time. For me, I'm going to draw the library. There's lots of places that make me feel happy, but before COVID, I went to the library and coffee shops a lot. So I'm going to draw that for my background. So let's get started. You want to grab your drawing and a pencil. No one should be using a pen or um, a marker at this stage. And the first thing we should always do is just draw a ground line. And when you're drawing, I don't know if you've heard this expression, but you should draw light until you get it right. So if you are drawing really hard with a lot of pressure, it'll be hard to erase it. But if I erase this ground line right here, you won't be able to see my pencil lines at the end. So see, you wanna draw lightly. Okay, um, so that's my ground line. Now I'm going to start drawing where the books are gonna go. So this will be the top shelf. To make this a little bit more interesting, I'm going to draw a, an overlapping shelf. So in real life, things overlap and it does make your picture look a little bit more interesting. So keep that in mind. Okay, so now I have the shape of my bookshelves. Okay, so now I'm going to draw the edges of the bookshelves. And you'll be able to see this clear when I outline it. Um, now I'm going to draw each section of the bookshelf. If you want to use a ruler, you can. It's up to you. <laughs> Whatever you have available at home. Okay, and now I'm going to draw these sections. And at this angle, I want all of my vertical lines to match this one. And then when I start making horizontal lines, I want them to match the bottom. to draw the shelves as well over here I think that looks good and then um, just draw in some of the books so when it comes to the books I'm trying to provide variation I don't want them to be all the same height because then it might look kind of boring differentiating the heights and the widths make my library look just a little bit more interesting. Okay, so now I'm done with the books on this bookshelf and maybe I'm going to have some books standing. So 
have a couple books standing on the top of my bookshelf. Um, I'm also going to have some lines for the wall and then the carpet. This has a couple of lines. So now I have this bookshelf. Um, I'm going to try to do this quickly as well. Maybe these will just be really big books. Okay, so now I'm happy with this. It's just the general outline of my drawing. Um, and then after I outline it and color everything in, I think it'll help everything pop a little bit more. And after you are done with your pencil drawing, you want to outline it with a black marker or a Sharpie. And then you want to erase your pencil lines before you start coloring everything in.